This game makes me sad because I have no real faith in TSM. Even when they win, it's it's mainly individual plays. A little bit desperate from Black. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to it's hard to say. TSM never really looks super convincing to me. I mean, this is one of the better games they've played, but there's always like catastrophes in TSM games. Like the Herald play was pretty much a catastrophe this game as well. I mean, especially even like the way it looks to me, it doesn't look like the teams that C9's playing against just got like so much better, and that's what's happening. To me, it just seems like C9's playing worse. It doesn't seem like the rest of the competition is just like leveled up, and now we just have a really competitive region. Like from my eye test, it just looks like C9 is like they've lost. Lost well, some ability so to like determine which fights are good for them and which fights aren't. Remember when G2 is good? Yeah, but like when you look at EU, you can, you give them the credit, right? You're like, oh, sure, it, it is a situation where uh, you know G2 isn't looking as strong as they were before. But EU is also like you you give credit to them for consistently leveling up the region. If you think about how many good teams there were last season in EU, um, in season nine, it was mainly just G2 and Fnatic fighting for everything. Splice looked okay at times but there wasn't really much other competition now you have like rogue and mad lions who both look um super good um yeah, you still have like you still have Fnatic and, and G2 kind of in that tier or like in that like top six and then you have teams like SK that look a lot better than they looked before like the whole league looks more competitive I'm happy to see C9 lose Jack talks a lot of shit oh yeah you're right dude T uh, Reggie just never talks shit true true thank god that we have TSM winning instead of C9 so that we have an owner that is not known for shit talking uh, at the top <laughs> good take man good take delusional tsm fans oh absolutely the best part about this that we get as people that care about the lcs is it shows that that when so like tsm is going to be winning right we get all the delusional tsm fans to come out of the woodwork and just talk about how their team was always the best the entire time and then once TSM just randomly starts become playing playing worse, which has seemed to happen every single time for the last three years, as soon as that happens, we get those same fans just going absolutely just complete monkey brain on the TSM subreddit every loss. And it's like, yeah, no, I mean, they lost this game. I think that, uh, you know, all five players should be fired and the entire coaching staff should be uh, you know, banned from uh, competition as well. Reggie should sell the team. Like, it, it, I love that shit. That, uh, that's the shit I live for. Like, these people that are that are going to be like, damn, Broken Blade played so well. Look at how hard he shit on Licorice. Those are the same people that were calling for Broken Blade to be benched. And by the way, like, I like the TSM players on this team. I was saying that Broken Blade was a good player three weeks ago when he had those two bad games in a row. Those same people were shitting all over Broken Blade. They were saying he's not worth an import slot. He needs to be replaced. This is the value of him, man. When he plays well, if you give him a counter pick, he gets on one of his champions. He can carry you, carry your fucking games. You can play through him. Even though it looks fine well, for TSM here, it looks like their bot lane did okay. The bot lane was losing. You know, Bjergsen died uh, died in the mid lane to to a gank from from Licorice. This game was played through Broken Blade. Broken Blade was enough of a threat throughout like the majority of this game that C9 had to put so much focus into him. They had to play so much around him. Oh wait, this is Double of dying. Hold up, Double of is dead. This should be a, this should be a Cloud Nine win. Actually, no. Broken Blade is gonna kill. Kill everyone here. Yeah, he kills everyone. Broken Blade kills everyone anyway. But Broken Blade had so much power in this game that it was it was the reason why C9 felt so uncomfortable. Like he's the one that put Double in a position to carry. But TSM ends up winning this game. I, I consider this an upset still, even though C9 hasn't been looking that good in recent weeks. Yeah, C9 get clapped by TSM. Oh, shit. We got a competitive league at the top. Calling out them TSM fanboys right here. Broken Blade said, huge W. I'm saying, where are those TSM fanboys? That's that uh, fanboys saying that you didn't deserve an import slot. Oops. Typo. Whatever. It's fine. Um, and should be benched now. All silent, BB is a le legend. Yeah, I mean, that's why, like, dude, I feel like even as a TSM player, you must kind of hate your fans to some degree because of, like, how unfair they are towards the team at most points. So what he said, said, by the way, Dom, if you have a big fan base, you should know there will be people with different opinions. 
Yeah, you can have different opinions, but if you ever thought that Broken Blade was not deserving of an import slot in NA, then there's something wrong with your brain and you should probably not be allowed to type on the internet going forward. That's what I'm saying. I mean, even Ico was an import in NA, so yeah, I mean, we have literally people like like Ryoma and like Ruin is taking up a top lane import slot in NA. Soaz was taking up an, an import top slot in NA. And then people are going to be shitting on Broken Blade for taking up an import slot? No. Fuck no. I don't agree. Seems bad to me. Horrible take. You deserve to be flamed. And you probably should have your typing privileges revoked on the internet. Which imports would I give the boot to? Ruin, Ryoma, Aika, um, Soaz. I would give a boot to... Um, think about all the teams. Huni, Jizuke, probably. I don't know. Jizuke, no, Jizuke is fine. I, I guess you can still keep an import on Jizuke. Um, I think that I think that's good enough. Froggen, yeah, Froggen for sure. 